This is the main dashboard of the Logpoint UEBA, the user and entity behavior analytics sort of interface. UEBA utilizes the machine learning to detect abnormal behavior and potential malicious activities that are hard to detect by the SIM alone. The UEBA serves as a dynamic detection capability to strengthen the SIM solution by having intelligent machine learning detection capabilities that mitigate the risk of alert fatigue for the users. UEBA offers detection on many different types and user and machine learning builds from from, from different baselines between different entities and groups. This is creating alerts that are relative to the individual's entity's past behavior rather than a set rule that requires frequent calibration. Using the entities behave differently and detecting abnormal behavior will show behavioral changes that present a security risk. This SIM is the data. That's the data layer for the entire UEBA, taking care of the ingestion, the storage, normalization, uh, the enrichment of the, of the information. This enables the UEBA machine learning models to run the data prepped for the task at hand. <clears throat> Once the data has been forwarded from our SIM solution into the UEBA in environment, we establish baselines for the entities. We do this over various time frames, show that to you in just a second, show that previously, depending on what the insights are we're after. Uh, we usually go from hourly, daily, monthly, but obviously if you take too long, you miss out, you miss out all the data. When the baselines are established, the detectors can trigger an anomaly due to anom an abnormal behavior compared to the entity or all the other entities that UEBA knows about, or three, the peer grouping entity, right? So the peer grouping functionality is using UMAP and DB scan to deduce peer groups based upon observed data. Thus, it is not the customers that generate the peer groups themselves. It is all UEBA. When the anomalies have been detected and they are sent back to the SIM product in which the contents are decrypted to be readable by the user, the detected anomalies can be managed from the UI embedded in the SIM solution as raw logs. We saw that earlier, just as those raw logs. This way, the users can use the anomalies from the UEBA engine, they can use those raw events and go and sort of jump into that. I jumped into a little bit of UEBA in the previous section, don't want to take too much time right now, but if we do click on our configuration, which I showed, I showed this previously in the UEBA board, here we can actually see this is our time frame. Oh, this is our time frame we're looking at. I'm looking at the last 30 days, and these are the actual resources that we're going to focus on here. All these are more specific to a customer's implementation, licensing, so I won't drill into that in too much detail.